So if we want to draw electric field representations for a positive charge, we could do the same thing, looking at the force on a small positive test charge nearby. But as you can see, we're going to run into the same problem. We wind up with too many lines, and it's confusing. Once again, eight lines. Mark symmetrical places to start them, draw them radially, and make the arrows point away from the charge, indicating that a positive test charge would be repelled. Done! If there is both a positive and a negative charge, what will the force look like on a small positive test charge? Well, it will be both repelled from the positive charge, but also attracted to the negative charge. This gives us two force vectors, which we have to add. We're only going to add the components to the right, because the up component and the down component will cancel out. So this gives us a vector that is only to the right. How about if we place another positive test charge here? Similarly, it will be repelled from the positive charge, and then it will be attracted to the negative charge. Once again, we'll have to add the two vectors, and once again, we're going to end up with a vector that is entirely to the right. We're going to continue doing this from a number of different locations. We can, of course, continue to do this, getting the force at any particular location by adding the two forces, one from the positive charge and one from the negative charge, making sure that we're always being repelled from the positive charge and being attracted to the negative charge. When we do this, we'll be able to see a pattern emerging from our dots. Okay, so what's the pattern? Well, we can see down here that there seems to be sort of a curve pattern, and up top, there's also a curve pattern. Up here, this might come out this way. Now, remember, symmetry is something that we care about with these situations. So I'm going to continue this curve, and I'm going to make another one over here, making the whole shape uh, symmetrical. How about in the middle? Well, let's take a look at the force on a small positive test charge right between our two charges. Repelled from the positive, attracted to the negative, and halfway between, it's kind of close to both, so it's pretty strong. Ooh, very long arrow when we combine those. So we know that it's going to be a very strong force in between. So how to draw the field line diagram? First, we want to assure our symmetry, so go ahead and put in our eight little dots around each charge. Then, we're going to connect the lines across the center, making sure to add in an arrow to the right for directionality. Remember, repelled from positive, attracted to negative. Continue with a horizontal line. Next, we're going to connect the two dots right above with a directional line and two dots right below. We're going to continue going outward, continuing for every pair of points. Here, where our curve is going to get pretty large, so we might not actually have our curves meet. But once again, after we've done the curves, we're going to fill in with the arrows going towards the negative and away from the positive. Okay, make sure your diagram looks like this. Use the applet linked on Moodle to help you draw the rest. Use a pencil!